I was born in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was born and raised north of Salt Lake City. So we first met at the university. I'm majoring in marketing. She's majoring in public health. While Brian focused on his marketing career in Utah, Celeste traveled solo to Thailand to become a certified yoga instructor. That was kind of my first exposure to how life is abroad. And I got back literally a day before our wedding. I just knew immediately when I got back though that I wanted to go somewhere else immediately. That's really what got me thinking, well, I gotta kinda change if I want to make it work so that I can be there with her. I wanna go on a hike to the very top of that mountain. We want to do a yoga business with yoga retreats. This is a very big place for yoga and people always think of Costa Rica. They think of like peace and relaxing. Does this remind you at all of where you went I mean, camping growing up, babe? <laughs> not exactly the same, no. I'm all for the basics. I Too basic. <laughs> well, to you. <laughs> Celeste is very outgoing and wanting to do everything. It makes it really challenging to find the, the direction we want to go. It's a leap of faith. It really is. You can find some lower uh, priced homes but they're going to be typically in rural areas and they're going to be more of Costa Rican typical style homes. It seems like it's very rural. Yeah, I gotta say, it's really, really green. Well, it looks very rustic. Like, it looks like it has a lot of what Brian's hoping. Well, one of the great things about this property is it's a little bit off the beaten path, but we're also still close to town. And as you can tell, we have neighbors here nearby. Oh, great. So you're able to immerse yourself in the local community. This is a two bedroom, one bath. It's less than what you were originally willing to spend, which is $5.50 a month. You guys think about that. that. I absolutely love the outside. It's quaint, small, perfect for what we're willing to spend. I don't know how Celeste is feeling about it. Let's look inside. This is the living room. Holy smokes. This door, this oh, openness. I love the door. But I'm not sure how I feel about this kitchen because it's super small. Is this where you imagine yourself living in Costa Rica? Yeah, I think that it definitely immerses us in the culture. Oh no, I don't like it, I don't like it. This kitchen has got to have work. I need to have a kitchen I can cook in. I mean, I, I'd be fine just cooking outside and with a fire <laughs> and be content, really. <laughs> Okay, this is a quaint little bathroom. I'm not a big fan of the walls though because it just seems like it's pretty worn down and kind of cheap. I don't like that very much. Why not? <laughs> I don't like that at all, actually. <laughs> he wants the bare minimum and literally be living like we're camping all the time. Like we're To me, eating. it helps fit in with the culture too. Okay, so the main bedroom is right off of the living room. Oh wow, even, does it come with the bunk beds? It does, it comes with this bunk bed and it also comes with this storage or wardrobe area over here. I don't know. It's not the nicest kind of look to me, but I... It gets the job I, done. Yeah, but I just kind of wonder if we were willing to spend a little bit more, if we could get a little bit more for our buck. Yeah. I think it's good for us right now. I could see in his face that he really likes that idea of living here. He thinks that simpler equals better. Whereas for me, I could see the potential of a bigger space and how that could help us with our business. So, eh, it's a tricky situation. So, this house is more than what you're willing to spend. But hear me out, Brian. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. but, it, but it's a three bedroom, three bath. And there's some features that I think Celeste is gonna really love. Okay. Ooh, you hear that? Okay. At least she'll be pleased. <laughs> So as you can tell here, the owner currently has this business being ran from the small room in the front, which is the third additional room that I think you guys could get a lot of use out. How much is it? Maybe. <laughs> so it's $700 a month. Okay. Potential investment, maybe. <laughs> yeah, potentially. I think it could potentially work. Take a look inside here. Wow. I don't think we need this much room. Well, it does have an open concept. No, like that's could, perfect. This space is perfect. Take a look at the main bedroom with an ensuite bath. 
It's uh, oh, I love the pretty bathroom. Modern. So Actually, you like it too, right? Quite pleased with this as well. See, oh, there's a compromise there. Okay, good. Well, there yeah. is a view upstairs if you guys want to come check that out. Definitely sure. want to see the view. Holy smokes. There's a beautiful view of the mountains and jungle, which is kind of what Brian was wanting, and then Celeste, we're right here in the city. I, I really love that. Well, there is quite a large studio up here, if you guys want to come take a look. Wow, we have another room. I feel like we've got to a lot. This house is just too big. <laughs> I kind of knew when we were looking that he was not a big fan of the open house, not a big fan of the many rooms. It's still over uh, what we're willing to spend, so. Ay, ay, ay. It does have its perks because with our business, we could do something with it. I know Celeste really likes that aspect of the home, but I, I'm a little bit more hesitant. Maybe in the future, we'll actually buy a property uh, with a bigger, better studio. I just feel like we're going a little too fast. We don't need this right now for us. He just wants to live in a freaking cabin. Well, that's my dream. I mean, what's wrong with that, huh? Lauren looks outside the city to find a house that will appeal to both their sensibilities. But it presents a practical challenge. Oh, this is actually really secluded. I mean, all the way out to the entrance of Ojo Chal is probably a good 25 minute bike ride. Ooh, you might need to get a car. <laughs> but this house is a two bedroom, two bath like you had asked for. And it's exactly what you had been wanting to spend, which was $600 a month and a more modern concept, but a jungle feel. We might be able to compromise. <laughs> the feeling of this house is peaceful. It's a tranquil environment. I do worry that we are a little further from town. That could create a little bit of a issue for us in the long run. Check out the inside of the home. Wow. What do you think of the kitchen, the floor plan, the open concept? You know, I'm sure that Brian loves this table. <laughs> does this come with it? It does. <laughs> the house is semi-furnished. Oh my <laughs> How do you feel about the kitchen area? Oh my gosh, see, this is what I like. This contemporary backdrop, this is perfect for me. Let's look at the main bedroom. Okay. Right here off of the living area. Oh my gosh, these windows, they're amazing. They're so big and we have the best view. It makes me feel like we are in a beautiful oasis and I love that. Here's the ensuite bathroom. Oh my gosh, Ooh, hey. that's a really good balance. Brian, what do you think of the rustic uh, sink? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. There's rustic here, modern here. There is a little bit of both. She did a really good job of combining contemporary with also the rustic that Brian's wanting. So what about the rustic house? How do you feel about that house? It hit home for, for me, and it's lower than what we're willing to spend. So that's right up my alley. But it's a little bit too rustic. I just kind of wonder if we were willing to spend a little bit more, if we could get a little bit more for our buck. What do you think of the in-town home? I like that it has some modern amenities to it. Yeah, but it's definitely over what we're willing to spend. I don't think we need this much room. That's no, like that's perfect. This space is perfect. And last but not least, there's the jungle home. What'd you think of that? So there's a lot more of that modern touch on that house. But then also, you also have your rustic table. Does this come with it? <laughs> it does. The house is semi-furnished. Oh <laughs> I just worry the fact that we, we don't have a car just yet. That's, that's a big concern oh, that's of getting... True. So, I mean, the jungle house has some wonderful amenities, but I also see that it's just too far off the beaten path. Especially since we're only on bike. So for now, in this moment... It's a no on the jungle home. Yes, let's eliminate the jungle house. So with the in-town home, I know that you really like the big kitchen. I know that it has a really great view of the mountain. But with the, the property as a whole, I just think it's a little bit too big for us right now. I really like that rustic cabin. I don't like that it is highly, highly rustic, though. It has a bit much of a rustic feel for me. Yeah, I know. You know? But with the in-town house, I mean, 
I think it's just a little over spending. But by only 100 bucks. Then the question is, what if we can use one of those other rooms as a source of income? Yeah, it would be an investment for sure. Yeah. I just don't know that I want to worry about that with our, our business. We're just starting off, it's just the two of us. I just think with where we're at right now, ultimately, I don't think that we need that. That's true. So yeah. I, I do think that the rustic cabin would be the best choice for us. Yeah, you have some fair points. My favorite part of living here is definitely taking a stroll, seeing the monkeys when they, they appear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we felt like we didn't really have time with each other. And then we come here and we spend every day together. I love you, babe. I love you too.